Hi, I'm Robin from Electrum Fitness, and today I'm going to talk about part two of flexibility, where we focus on the front splits and the side splits. So before we start our front splits, there's some other exercises we'll do to warm up our legs so that we can go into a front split more easily. So the first exercise is what we call a front lunge. Okay? So the right leg is forward and about 90 degrees to the floor from here. So from here, look at my hips. They're back. So I want to send my hips forward here. Okay? So you notice from here all the way to here is 90 degrees. From here to the, this line is almost a straight line. So it's from here, and then from here is not a straight line. I want to send the hip forward till it's almost a straight line, or a straight line as you can. Okay, so this is how we achieve a stretch. And from here, put hands on our knees, push back, and we can get the stretch and send the hips forward and send the hips even more forward. Okay, so we stay here for a while and loosen up. Then, next thing we can do is to put our legs down onto the, our, le our elbows onto the floor. And rock left and right. And then we come up. Okay, and then from here, we're going to stretch our quads from here. Look at my left foot. I bend my left foot. I try to grab it with my left hand. And then bring the knee towards my hips. And as I do that, I think my hips forward. So the more I think my hips forward, the more stretch I'll feel in the quads here. Done. Okay, finish. Now from here, we are now ready to start our front to rock backwards and see the front leg is straight. So you do that a few times. So maybe from here, when you first start, okay, it's a bit tight and gradually, gradually release it until it's here and release. So stretch and go forward. Stretch and go forward. So once you feel, okay, I'm quite comfortable here. And then put your hands on the floor, slowly wiggle your left knee backwards, then go do the same thing, forward, back, right? so backwards. So as you back, you feel the hamstring stretch here. Repeat. Okay? Once you find yourself here, okay. So maybe this is your limit. I can't go any further. Then you just stay here and, and stretch. If you can, then go further back. Go further back. Here. Okay. And stay there for a while, a few seconds. How much? Release. Last for a while. Push back again, stretch, and go forward. Then again, you can either push your left knee back or you can slide your right uh, heel forward here until you're a bit more into the split. So gradually you repeat this process. Then over time, as you get better, then you'll be able to go down completely until you are in the front split. Okay? So that is the front split here. So ideally, your body should be a bit more upright. The more upright you need to be, the more back flexibility you need. Okay? Some people also do it forward here. Okay? So on the left side, so front split, of course, there's the front and the left. So we practice the right, now we have to practice the left. So the left is the same thing. So we still start here. Sink the hips forward. Okay, so I'm going through this part a bit faster. Is it the same as the other side? Okay, stretch, go down, come up, grab the behind, both hands, stand the hips forward. Okay, relax, then go forward and back, forward and back, then adjust either your left foot forward or your right knee backwards or both. Then go backward, stretch. Hold there, okay, a lot of stretch here. Back and slightly adjust until you're more. Okay, here. Okay, this is the max you can do. And just stay here. Okay, too much, release. Rest for a while. And repeat. Tap. And so squeeze the muscles, contract the muscles, and squeeze down. And slowly adjust until you can go further down. Okay, so this is the front split. The first way to enter a side split is from a standing position. So you stand with your feet apart, about this distance, 
and then you squeeze your thighs together. So you can feel tension over here. Squeeze as hard as you can, and count for about six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then adjust your distance a bit wider. Then count again, same thing. Squeeze your inner thighs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then a wider still. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if this is about all you can do, then it's okay. Just stay here and count for time, maybe about one to three minutes. Eh? You can go down further, go down further. Maybe you may need to have something to hold in front of you. Could be a table, could be a chair, a stool, whichever height you need to. So you count one, two, three, four, five, six. So you go a bit lower. One, two, three, four, five, six. A bit lower to so hold on to something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. A bit lower still. One, two, three, four, five, six. Until you reach the distance, your maximum distance. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is your side split from the standing position. Okay? So just go as low as you can. And then gradually you will get lower down until you're touching the floor like this. Now another way to get into the side split is from the pancake. Now if your pancake can go down to almost flat to the floor, then you're very close to a side split. So one way to practice that actually is to do what we call a pull through. So watch this. As I go down into my pancake, I'm here and I'm flat. So once I can reach flat, I put my hands forward, look over my feet, I wiggle my feet, and I so-called wiggle them so that I can adjust my feet position and I pull myself through. Each time at the pull, I adjust my feet position. And then, slowly from here, I'm actually in the side split already, and I just pull through here. Now you look from the side. Okay? Here, I go down. I pull through. Now it may not be so easy to pull through with your bum completely flat to the floor. So what you can do initially is to lift up your bum a bit so that it's easier for you to pull through, like so. So I go down, maybe I'm almost flat here. Then from here, I lift up my bum, I wiggle. So it's like I walk eh, with my elbows. And then I go down until I can pull through. Okay. Then, as you get better, as you get better, from here, you wiggle forward, but you lift up your bum less. Wiggle, so notice my bum is less. Then gradually, as you improve, you'll be completely flat to the floor, and then you will have your side split. So that is the other way of getting into the side split from the pancake. So there are two ways from standing up or from the pancake. Okay? But practicing the pancake, especially when you're down to flat the floor, will give you the most return for the buck. Okay? So enjoy practicing your side splits.